Big business has enjoyed a bonanza under new labour. British high street banks made £37,000 million profit last year, three times more than when new labour took office. BP and Shell profits have soared to £23,000 million. Profits at the arms corporation, BAE Systems, are now running at £1,000 million thanks to dodgy deals with the corrupt dictatorship of Saudi Arabia. No wonder the super-rich are celebrating. Britain is still one of the wealthiest countries on the planet. The British capitalist class own more assets around the world than anyone else except the Americans. And yet we're told we can't afford higher wages and social benefits, decent pensions, more social and council housing, a more extensive public transport system, or a clean and safe environment. At the same time, big business is making a fortune out of our public services. In fact, as taxpayers, we're paying the big corporations billions of pounds every year to privatise what's left of our public sector. Because of budget deficits and the private finance initiative, we're losing hospital beds and services. As private contractors cut jobs and wages and spread infection, we pay banks, construction and drug companies billions to bleed our National Health Service dry. Of course, money can always be found for a new generation of nuclear weapons and to fight wars for the interests of British and American big business. And Triarchy, Tana Pandy and Tin Newid, Aston Ronda, Tan Pentra, all adieu. For we can no longer wait while Parliament debates. So a sad farewell. The Communist Party knows why we don't use Britain's massive wealth to benefit the working people and their families who create it. It's because three quarters of all the wealth in Britain is owned by just one tenth of the population, none of whom lives here. Or here, or here. That's why the Communist Party continues to campaign for a Welsh Parliament with real economic and financial power, not a feeble assembly which begs and bribes multinational companies to come here and exploit us before clearing off to Eastern Europe or China. Only the Communists in Wales said that the hundreds of millions of pounds wasted on LG would have been better spent creating thousands of permanent jobs in the public cooperative and small business sectors across Wales. It is the Communist Party alone that urges and helps organise people to fight for social justice and peace. It is the Communist Party alone that demands a wealth tax on the super rich to pay for higher pensions and benefits. It is the Communist Party alone that wants to take the public utilities, railways and banks into public ownership for the benefit of all our people. New Labour, the Liberals and the Tories all grovel to big business. Plaid Cymru would walk away from Britain's wealth instead of demanding that working people share in it. While the BMP fascists want a race war against our small black and immigrant communities in Wales, people who make such a valuable contribution to our economy and culture. By voting Communist on May the 3rd, you'd be sending the clearest possible message to Britain's powerful and wealthy elite that you want public services, not privatisation, peace, not imperialist war, social justice, not super profits for big business, and that we, the people of Wales, want real power to determine the future of our own country. For more information about the Communist Party in Wales, phone 07715 554440 or go to www.welshcommunist.org or write to the Communist Party, PO Box 69, Pontypridd, CF 37 9AB.